Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So we are going to do a review on this new lamp that I was sent. So this is, I'm showing you all angles of this lamp. So it's a really cool, neat lamp. Um, the wattage I believe is 24 and 48. So the light will go low, dimmer, and then it can go higher. I guess that's when you're changing the watt, what wattage you wanna use. You wanna take off the film that's on both sides, this blue stuff. Um, the lamp comes apart at the bottom, so you could like put it on top if you're doing toenails, you know, pedicures. Uh, you can just pull off the bottom and put it back on. It's like magnetic. So I'm just showing you it has right here the lamp where it goes light and dim. You see that? So we're going to use that and we're going to also use this Madam Glam. This is their smoothie collection. Well, some of their smoothie collection and their 3D tube gel. So we're going to do a review on both and I'm just showing you the colors right here. I um, swatched them all out and put some decorations on. But this is actually not a review for Madam Glam because I've already done enough reviews to know that I love Madam Glam. So it's more of just showing you their smoothie collection. So let's get started. Anyways, I've already prepped all the nails and put her tips on. We used stiletto tips for this set just to when we cut them into shape and filed them the little almond shape came out easier. So here's, we put the tips on and then afterwards, and you already know how I prep the nails and all that. And so I'm doing two coats of Protein Bond on each nail and we're gonna use a hard gel. So we're using Chris Trio's gel. This is their builder gel. And this is LED UV. And I'm just gonna brush a thin layer on for my base layer of the same gel have her go into the lamp for 30 seconds into this LED UV lamp we're using and cured like a charm. So after 30 seconds, I will pinch and then I will put another build layer on. So here's our first layer we're doing. She'll go into the lamp for 30 seconds. I will pinch and then we will do our build layer. And as promised, I'm gonna start showing you guys some side views. So here she is in the lamp and here she's coming out for her build layer. So I just, this gel is one of my favorites. It's a thicker type gel. So once you put it on, it doesn't move. You can actually go to the next nail and, ne and the next nail before curing and the gel stays where you put it. Um, I'm starting by the cuticle area and just bringing my bead all the way down and then I will grab my brush, the tip of my brush, and wherever needs any more gel, or like in the middle, you see how it's it's that got that dent in the middle, I will fix that. And here's another nail where we're doing our side view. So starting from the cuticle area, and I just push it by the cuticle, not touching, but get it as close as I can, keeping my brush at the top of the gel, just floating the gel. I'm just using the tip of my brush, the top, the front, the top of my brush, and the tip. I'm not by the bottom of my brush at all, and I'm just floating the gel, always keeping contact with the gel at all times. If I needed to pick any up, any more gel and add more, or take some off, I would then, you know, lift my brush up and then put it back and keep contact again. So all we did, then she went back in the lamp for one minute and we were totally cured. I mean, this lamp cured well. So after she went into the lamp, see I'm gonna, I'm looking at all the angles of the gel nail and that's what you wanna do. So I could start fixing wherever, like the dent in the middle, we gotta fix that and make sure it all, you know, matches. And the sides, if there's any that needs to be on the side, you just wanna, you, fix all that very gently with the tip of your brush. No digging and all that or patting. And in the lamp for one minute and she was cured. So then I'm doing a front view. Same way, you know, I'm just doing cuticle all the way down to the free edge. Very easy. And she went into the lamp for one minute and she was cured. After all the gel nails were done, I then cleansed them with alcohol and wiped them to get remove the inhibition layer. 
Then we filed and buffed all of the nails. So after filing and buffing all of the nails, then I go back again and clean them with alcohol to remove all the dust for our next step. So here we are, and just because we already have gel nails, I did not use the base coat, but this is Madame Glam's smoothie collection, and here is what I've noticed about this collection. The gel polishes are really thick, and I do one whole hand showing you um, just different, I'm trying to show you different techniques, because I don't know if this is something, because it's, it's their new collection, so I don't know if they'll be fixing it, or if it's supposed to be thick. Some gel polishes with glitter are supposed to be thick. So um, I show you just a couple ways of doing it. So it's really thick, and you can see that here. So you can do it with one coat, I mean, that's all you need anyways. So you can do one coat because it's it's a see-through glitter gel polish anyways. So one coat's all you need. It's not like we're trying to opaque the color. So you can do that or you can actually put it on in two coats like I'm doing right here. And actually, if it looks too thick for you, then you can cap it with some clear gel and file it. So, you know, your design's inside the nail because this actually reminds me of a builder gel, a glitter builder gel. It's pretty cool. You can use it probably many ways. So um, if they don't fix it and you, you know, have problems with it, you can just basically, you know, paint two coats on if you want, cap it with clear gel. You're gonna wanna cap it so when you file, you know, to make it smooth and, and thinner, you don't wanna remove all this glitter. So definitely cap it to protect all the glitter. So that's what we um, did on this one hand, except I didn't cap it with clear, we just left it thick. And then I did go back over, remove the gel, and did it all over again like we did on the other hand. So we just removed the gel with the safety bit, and then I just did it the same way I did the other hand. And I'll explain to you what we did to the other hand when we get there. And also, her nail, her fingernails look really, her, her fingers look really red where her skin is. She, I did not cut her. That is just because her skin was really dry and it was like pulling away. So, you know, it, it was just, it looks really red. But you see in the end, it's the camera making it look worse. So here's what we did in this second one. I actually thinned down my gel polish with gel polish thinner. Then I put it on to the nail, one coat. And all the glitter was down, so what, it wasn't coming up. So I don't know if I thinned it out too much. So what I did was I put one coat on of the gel polish, and then I put the glitter onto the makeup sponge, and then put the glitter on. So I would, I actually put one layer of gel polish after it was thinned out, cured her in the lamp for 10 seconds, had her come out, and then put the glitter from the sponge all over the sticky layer and then had and then put another coat with that just put another you know thin layer on top of it put her into the lamp for 20 seconds and she was cured and then we put gel top coat and we were finished so we you know and it, it actually made a, a a better result for us so it's actually way thinner and here are their 3D tube gels and I just do one white rose on one hand and one pink on the other. So I love these tube gels, guys. I love 3D gels. I just love them. I love gel everything. And um, you want to wipe off the sticky layer after she comes out of the lamp. And we only cured the rose for 30 seconds and added our cuticle oil and we were finished. But as you can see, it's just her skin. It was real, like irritated and red because she had a, um, her cuticles were a lot real dry around there. And so, but she was, I did not cut her. But, um, but do you see how thinner it looks? It looks much thinner than that if we would have had it before. I should have showed, showed the picture of the result of when it was real thick. So 
remember how to do that when if you choose to do that. But Madam Glam might fix that situation, I'm not sure, and then you won't have to worry about it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and until the next video.